Hello! Today we are making pretzels. The German word for these are brezel with a B and not a P, so I'm always confused when I see the English word. Why am I talking about German versus English? Well, because I have the German brezel in head when I'm sculpting these. For one, because I'm making these for a German customer, and also because I've been I've been born and raised in Germany, although I'm not German. But that's that's just my life and it's complicated and I'm pretty sure you're not really interested in that. Anyway, brezel, pretzels. Call them how you wish, they are delicious. So, for these you need some light colored clay. You shape it into an oblong shape like I'm showing you here because I'm making several ones. And then you round it up in a circle, you twist twice and then you put on top. You then slice one part of the brezel, yes I'm calling them brezel. And then you texture the inside and the outside of the brezel with a toothpick. And finally you shade them all with some dry pastels and a brush. Don't forget to turn them all around and shade the other side. Make as many as you want and then bake. After baking and cooling off, I added some extra acrylic paint. I like using acrylic paint to just add more realism to my sculptures. And then I prepared the salt. For that I mixed some white and a lot of translucent clay. And now I'm just chopping off everything in very tiny bits of what is going to be salt. I then proceed to cover each brezel with liquid clay with the help of a brush. I then simply dip the brezel in the salt and then using a toothpick I'm adding and removing the salt grains a bit so it looks a little bit better and not completely random. I repeated these steps for all brezel and then baked. And now we are making a beer mug just so it's a bit more interesting and also because Oktoberfest is coming up very soon so I thought it was really fitting. And well you know in Germany you usually would drink some beer with your brezel so it makes sense. I simply rolled and cut out a grey cylinder and using a ball and a tool I made a hole on the top where I'm going to put the foam. For the handle I rolled out some clay and then I simply added it to the mug. I used an embossing tool to stick it to the mug but a toothpick would do the job. I styled the handle in a sort of triangular shape but you can do as you wish. And then I baked the mug. After baking and cooling off, I used a very thin sandpaper to polish the mug. And then with some acrylic paint, I just painted some random floral shapes on top of the mug. 
I used reference pictures of traditional ceramic beer mugs that you can find in Germany and they are usually a grey base with some blue colouring or blue decorations on top so the flowers or the flowery shapes are the easiest ones but sometimes you have tiny men and things like that so you can go for that as well. Don't forget to paint all around and be my guest and make it pink if you prefer pink, it doesn't really matter. Once you think it's finished, let it dry before adding the foam. For the foam I first added some liquid clay in the hole and then using white clay I simply added tiny balls of clay on top of it. Then I textured everything first with a toothbrush and now with a ball and a tool. You want to use a reference picture for that one because you are trying to make it look like foam. And I also used a needle tool to reproduce the tiny bubbles. Once you're happy with all of this, bake again and then don't forget to varnish. And you're done! If you liked it, maybe give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. In any case, have a fun week and if you don't know what to do, maybe look at this rainbow popsicle video I made a few weeks ago. Bye!